Curse of Strahd is regarded as one of the most famous and best modules of 5th edition. In addition, we were just recently given Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. All of these detail out horror in Dungeons & Dragons. But my question to you all is, does horror in D&D actually work? What is there to be scared of? Mechanically, there really isn't too much for your character to be scared of. Because there is no scare mechanics. You don't have a sanity, you don't have a fear factor, and you are typically wearing a cape. You're usually some sort of superhero. You're usually tough to kill. You're usually tough to wound. What is there to be scared of in D&D? Do we separate the horror and fear from the player character and the player? Do we put these in ourselves? What is there to stop someone from saying, oh, my character isn't scared? Because, quite frankly, there isn't anything like that. There is no mechanic that says your character has to be scared of this the first time they see it. There is some monsters that put out some sort of fear, and that is the frightened condition, but it only exudes that one condition, and that's it. And at the same time, we're usually under the belief that we can win most of the engagements that we get into. We're usually under the assumption that the game is going to continue on, and the DM's not just going to simply kill us off. So my question is, is what is there to be scared of? Is there anything to be scared of in D&D? Well, that really comes down to your table. It comes down to your preferences. I know that there is a lot of tables out there who aren't going to be into horror when it comes to D&D. It's simply not going to compute. It's not going to work out. And that's perfectly fine. Just recognize that you shouldn't run horror type games for certain types of people using certain systems. And then it's going to all work out just fine. How long does it go on for? When we think of horror, we think of horror movies. Guess what? Horror movies are only an hour to two hours long. When it comes to D&D, you are typically running two to four hour sessions and you are running multiple, multiple, multiple sessions. So how long does the horror go on for? How long is it palatable for? Of course, when it comes to these horror movies, they're one and done. We're good to go. We sit there for the hour or two and it's a fun time. But when you sit there and stew in the horror for hours and hours on end, how long can it go on and still maintain its rightful feeling? How long can it go on for and still be an enjoyable experience? I truly do feel like horror has to be taken in doses. You can't be running a full-blown horror campaign where for three hours straight, once a week, you keep on going into full-on horror again and again and again and again. I feel like that would get real old real quick. Is everyone on board? Guess what? If you are running for four players and three people are on board, but one person isn't, it's not going to work out. It just isn't. They're going to kill the mood. <laughs> there is no way that unless you have every single person on board willing to buy into the horror, then you are not going to have a horror experience. It's just not going to work out. You're going to have three people that are totally digging it, and then one person that just kills the mood. You need to have everybody signed on for what's at hand. Horror isn't typically something that you can spring onto a group all willy-nilly. You can't go from a sunshine and rainbows happy-go-lucky adventure and then spring in super-duper creepy horror. Usually there's going to be some sort of friction there. Usually it's not going to work out. Now what kind of horror is it? There is, of course, in Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft, a ton of awesome examples of different types of horror. With Curse of Strahd, we were given some sort of gothic Victorian horror, but of course there are many others. We have cosmic horror, we have dark fantasy horror, we have slashers, we got a whole bunch of different horrors. Which one's going to work for your table? Not all horror works for everybody. Some people might be more predisposed to liking some than others. You have to dial in and figure out which horror is going to work for the table. After asking all of these questions of your players and of yourself, you at the end of the day have to figure out, does it even work? It works if everyone buys in. It works if you don't do it for too long. It works if you have the right horror for the table. These things are not easy to find. Oftentimes, you're going to have a whole bunch of different people at the table, and they have different tastes, and that's fine. One thing you're going to find is that horror is just something that just doesn't belong at a lot of tables. That being said, though, when you do find that table, when you do find all those players that buy in, when you do figure out which type of horror works well for them, and you figure out how often you can sprinkle it into the game, it truly is a beautiful thing.
Now, do I think D&D is the best for horror? Absolutely not. There are many other game systems which have horror in them, and it's baked into the mechanics of the game. And it makes sense for that reason. D&D natively doesn't have that. I'm sure there's plenty of awesome supplements that you can find online, and there is the DMG, which has some sort of sprinklings on how you can handle horror. And of course, in Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft, we're given examples on how to use it. But even then, I don't think d and the best. Quite frankly, it usually doesn't make sense that PCs are scared of things. Just mechanically, there's a lot of things that just don't make it work for me. But if you do find the group that makes it work, then that's totally awesome. So go ahead and tell me, do you believe that horror works in D&D? Or do you think that if you want a horror in a tabletop role-playing game, it's best to look somewhere else? Have you successfully pulled off horror in your D&D games, where it affects not only the player characters, but the players themselves? And what kind of horror do you like to see most in your tabletop role-playing games? I would love to hear it. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to my amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.